if you're a novice to all this, it's best to do this under some sort of supervision. Not only is this for your safety, but also so that someone can observe your movements and help you confirm if you're doing it or not, especially if it's someone far more experienced than you. You'll also want to have a mirror to see your body movements and fix any places that need adjusting. And finally, make sure that you're warmed up and properly stretched by the time you start practicing your basics. You don't want to go pulling any hamstrings or you know, just hurting yourself, which we are not responsible for that, by the way. Before we start this punching tutorial, we highly recommend that you watch our kicking tutorial first. First, we'll start with the basic jab. Depending on your fighting stance, this punch will be done by the lead hand, and much like with our kicks, the first and most important thing is to use your hips. Doing this will enable the fighter to gain more distance with the punch, as well as show the entire body's movement in the shot. You want to be sure that the punch is the last thing that is thrown, so be sure to practice the entire movement slowly until you get it right. Then start speeding up. And when I say speed up, I don't mean clenching your fists. You want your fists to be relaxed and slightly opened during your jab as to not hurt the other actor. Control is important in action, and you're only going to hurt yourself or the other actors around you if you're simply trying to show off. Once you're used to the basic movement of the jab, the next punch is its follow-up, the straight, or cross, whichever you may call it. Opposite the lead hand, the straight punch follows the same basic movements but only rotating in the opposite direction. Be sure to pay attention to the pivoting of your footwork in order for your hips to allow you that extra exaggerated motion to display your movements for the camera. Whether it be a jab or a straight, you want to make sure that you return to your original fighting stance afterwards. A successive jab and straight is a basic one-two combination in boxing. It's one of the usual ways to start off action choreography, but it's not limited to just this. Nonetheless, the basic understanding of this combination and its required movements will all play an important part in action choreography down the line. Here's an example of how we would apply it in a fight scene with another stuntman, Hiroyuki Taniguchi. Yep. Now this footage alone may not be much by itself, but if we add some sound effects yep. and some music, yep. it feels way more electrifying and pretty much triggers the audience with a sudden dose of adrenaline thanks to both the visual and audible impact. Another basic thing you have to think about is the camera angle and how the actor and or stuntman will be placed correctly to have the punch or kick look like it connected. In this shot, Megumi's straight punch isn't connecting, as you can see the huge safety gap between her fist and Taniguchi's face. To solve this, we change the angle so that the punch will look like it connects. Another way we can solve this is by changing the punch altogether, which brings us to the hook. Much like the roundhouse kick in the last video, this punch will be traversing across the actor's horizontal arc and is used mostly for shots behind the actor or stuntman's back. As always, you want to start by moving the hips first and then let the rest of the body follow afterwards. Try to hold the punch as much as possible and once your hips have reached a certain radius, throw the punch as horizontally as you can much like you would a lariat. So that you don't mix up your hook with your straight punch, you want to swing the punch across to your arm's opposite rib cage or armpit, much as if you were throwing a baseball. Yep. <laughs> Although we may have covered three of some of the basic punches, they won't mean anything unless you have the right amount of acting on the receiving end. No matter what the outcome is, the opponent will be hit and have to show that pain or even no pain at all. Just how much pain is shown is completely up to you and the kind of character the opponent will be portraying. Here are a few examples. Yep. はい、はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。は
That's it for this episode of Tokusatsu Film School. If you enjoyed this video, please share it with your friends. Also give it a nice thumbs up. And also subscribe to GPTV for more upcoming content. Tune in next time for more Tokusatsu Film School right here on Garage Pro TV.